At least twice with SQL Server 2000, I hit a wall where I was trying to build a multi-statement table-valued UDF and I just couldn't get it to work because I needed it to do something different on a row-by-row -row basis. And I was thrilled to see that the apply command solves this problem beautifully. So, since I was so thrilled, I called this topic having fun with apply. So here's the gist of what we're going to do. We have a function and we can pass into it a parameter and then use that parameter Go ahead and create. Let me switch to the right database and then hit execute. And here's the cool code of cross apply. What it's going to do is in effect execute the UDF once for every row returned by customer. And if you think about it, this is just like a correlated subquery. You can think of these as correlated UDFs. There's two forms. There's the cross apply, which will, for every row and customer, execute the UDF passing into it the customer value. And notice that it's correlated, C to C. And then we get the result. And I don't understand why it's called cross apply, because it's really doing what appears to be an inner join between customer and the result from f event list 2. There is another version of apply called outer apply, and if we use outer apply, it would return every customer whether or not there's a result from f event list 2. Looking at the results, you can see that here is what appears to be five customers because of the same last name, and then for those five customers, it was joined with the results of calling the UDF and passing the customer to it. And then here's Betty's, the result from the UDF from Betty's, and Brown, Davis, Joe, all the way down. Just for fun, let's change this to outer, execute it again, and see if there's any customers in there that are null. Sure enough, right at the top, as if I planned it, there's Adams. Just like an outer join for a correlated subquery, here's a customer where when we run the UDF, we see no result, so it's coming back as a null. How beautiful is that?